Just the other day, I was speaking to uh, a friend of mine, uh, a wonderful, beautiful young woman, and you know she's uh, she's actually this quite mature, powerful, financially, uh, you know, an overachiever, um, and she'd probably be kind of like the dream woman of pretty much almost any man. And as I was talking to her, when the subject of relationships came up, she immediately changed her voice and tone and she immediately went into this, ah, oh, yeah, it's like, you know, this kind of a childish tone. So to me, it was quite obvious that she immediately switched to a different psychological perspective when she was talking about relationships. She immediately went from adult into child and unfortunately this is one of the main main obstacles that uh, people encounter when being in a relationship and having relationship trouble now any meaningful relationship between two adults should be from the psychological perspective of the adult right it should be two adults meeting um, when there's a traumatized child inside what tends to happen is that actually uh, one of the partners at least right the one with the traumatized uh, psychological instance um, is looking for not so much an adult partner they are looking for someone to project their need of a parent onto so for example, if you've had some problem with your father or your mother, you will be uh, having the inclination to project that uh, parent onto your partner and to try to mend that relationship that you had uh, that was not so balanced and try to get the emotional nourishment from your partner as if he or she were your parent actually. And needless to say that that's when the relationship goes down. That's where uh, the first casualty of such a, a positioning is sex because children don't have sex, right? Only adults have sex. So if one of the partners goes into this perspective of, oh, I'm becoming a child, then automatically as a child, my need is not for sexual relationship or connection my need is for the nourishment for the stability for the emotional connection and for the resources that i might be uh, wanting to get from a parent right so those are on a completely different level so i might want uh, stability i might want nurturing right I'm not, definitely not going to want a, a, a sexual relationship and I'm not going to relate to that parent in a sexual way or even in a way that is typical of the adult kind of relationships, right? Because children don't have adult relationships. Children have child-parent relationships. And that kind of forces the other person either to accept the role of the parent or to just not accept the relationship at all right and that's that's the problem because if if the if this happens and and the other person steps into the role of the parent um, then either the relationship is going to find a kind of a, an imbalanced balance as in okay you know it's going to be limited what we can have um, sexuality is definitely going to be downplayed um, and the relationship is going to be very unequal with one being the parent and one being the child but also what tends to happen in these dynamics is that um, these relationships are prone to triangles like love triangles and that could entail cheating right why, why is that well let's say that an a, a normal person meaning someone that doesn't have significant childhood trauma 
um, would normally relate to someone else in a relationship from the adult perspective, okay? Um, if someone has enough trauma in their childhood to be looking for a parent in their partner, then what tends to happen is that in that person there are two psychological instances. One of the traumatized child that is looking for a parent and the other one is of the adult that is still there. That person is still adult, right? They do still have an adult version in themselves. So what tends to happen is that they are looking to their partner to satisfy the needs of the child. Once they find someone who can step into the role of the parent, the needs of the child are actually answered, right? They're addressed and the needs of the adult remain unaddressed. So they will be looking for someone else, and this is the key, someone else to satisfy them as an adult. And why do I say someone else? Because there is no overlapping in roles, right? You don't have sex with your parent. You don't have sex with your mother. You don't have sex with, with your father, right? So if if your partner is ascribed the role of any of the parents, then they are out of the equation, right? You cannot relate to them sexually, but the adult does need a, a sexual connection, right? So the unsatisfied part of this person will be looking for someone else, or at least will be open. Even without them knowing, they will feel attraction to some uh, someone, right, which can fill that part. So what's the, what's the answer to this and how does acupuncture help us to solve it? Well, as I said in previous videos, acupuncture really, really is extremely powerful in addressing psychological issues and the way that it does is that it's accessing um, the, uh, the power of archetypes, right? So, for example, when we are looking for the archetype of the mother, right? Let's say that it's a, it's a man who is looking for his mother. But similarly, if it's a woman looking for her father, right? Projection onto the partner. Um, it's very, very simple in terms of, at least in theory, in practice is, of course, a little bit more complex. But in theory, it's very simple to just activate energetically that archetype. And the good thing is that the archetypes are non-human, meaning they are perfect, literally perfect. How can we say that they're perfect? Because archetypes are kind of a construct of the psyche, right? And the psyche is looking for something and we activate exactly that part which is stemming from the psyche, right? So the psyche will be getting exactly what it is looking for. Uh, because the psyche is defining that part to begin with, right? So we use the psyche to satisfy kind of itself, okay? So this is how slow but very deep and very powerful healing is generated through acupuncture, right? You arc arc activate the, the archetype of the mother, right? For example, in acupuncture that would be uh, if we're talking about um, normal meridians, everyday meridians, that would be the earth element with the spleen and the stomach meridians, right? They pertain to the earth element and earth is associated with the mother. Earth is also associated with the home. So maybe you're not necessarily looking for one of the parents, but what you have been missing is the overall stability of the home. Well, activating the earth archetype is able to give you the opportunity to find what you're looking for in yourself and that way you actually can disconnect your need for stability from your partner so basically you unburden them you stop projecting your need uh, of stability onto them because that puts them in the role of a provider in the role of a parent in the role of you know, a kind of a homemaker, but not the kind that you two adults make together, but the kind that you needed as a child, right? So once you unburden your partner, you are free to relate to them as an adult, right? And that is the basis of a healthy relationship. Now, of course, here it's a little bit uh, complicated because usually if we've been in such a dynamic, the other will also have kind of an, a vested interest in having stepped into the role of a parent, right? So you can't have a child relating to a parent without a parent relating to a child. Why do I say that? Well, if someone needing a parent is trying to get 
his or her need met by someone else who is resolute in remaining in the psychological instance of the adult they won't be accepting your projection they won't accept to become or step into the role of the parent right and just the relationship will not work it will actually not even start right so if we are talking about an already established relationship which is stable which is long term that person has already stepped into this role of a provider of a parent right and they do so out of their own psychological needs right so sometimes in these relationships one is the one asking and the other one is the one accepting and and, and giving but they themselves usually have some sort of similar trauma and the only difference is that when they are providing you with nurturance they imagine how it must feel for you right so they give to others what they might want to be receiving in return right so the key is for both partners in such a relationship to be on their own healing path otherwise if one is starting to heal and evolve and the other one remains the same there will be at some point a, a point of fracture right because uh, if both are stuck and one gets unstuck right you, there's only so much you can you can uh, put as in terms of pressure on a relationship before it breaks right the good news is acupuncture can really really help and it can help at a very very deep level because it doesn't necessarily need to go through the mind through the rational mind so for example um, various methods like talking therapies do try to elicit emotions and heal through the cognitive level a much more powerful and deeper way is to relate to the body because the body has a, a wisdom of its own the body is the depository of the subconscious and it is the depository of all these emotions physiological and also uh, the ones that are imbalanced that's where the healing takes place and that's why acupuncture combined with a talking therapy combined with the psychotherapeutic elements can be truly truly liberating so i hope that i've given you some really great news guys because if you've recognized yourself or your relationship being in this kind of dynamic there is hope for you this is a very very good news so acupuncture can really really help you you know transcend these childhood traumas if you found this interesting, I, I do invite you to uh, join my Facebook group, which is called Chi Flow Rebels. And that's where we discuss all things related to Chi Flow, to energy flow, related, um, relating to Chinese metaphysics. So seen from the perspective of ancient Chinese wisdom. Uh, and also, if you liked this video, please feel free to let me know what you've liked, what, you've, what you didn't like, maybe what subjects you might want me to address in future videos. And of course, like and subscribe so that you don't miss out on any of the future videos. I'll see you in the next one.